Hello everyone. Today I wanted to go over something very simple. Using blueprints to make your little prefabs so you don't have to rebuild little uh, blockouts or meshes like these windows over and over again. So I created a little folder called prefab and I'm going to go ahead and go into blueprints, actor, drop it on in. Now I'm going to go into, now I'm going to use SM cubes to build a little table. So I'll use the blueprint tab instead of the actual level tab in order to keep the scale going how I want it to be. So that way if I had a character in there, I could actually scale it properly. So I decided to go a little different and I built a little chair using tons of little cubes. This will be a good example of using making a prefab for a block out. So now that I've got up this little chair, if I wanted to have this chair follow around a table, like this one right here, I could drop in this chair. And now I've got this one. And I could easily just reuse it again right next to it. And so what I've done is I've cre created myself the ability to place down tables and make a mesh that I could just reuse over and over again instead of building it every single time. This works well when doing multiple different meshes. It works great when you're building your windows. As I did over here, I'll go back into the blueprint. All I did was create the blueprint and I'll go through rebuilding this. So all it would take is I have three parts to this window. I drag it in, I have all three parts. I align them properly, move them into place. And then I have this little blueprint. And instead of building it on the window over and over again, I now have a blueprint I can use that has them already connected. So I can go ahead and place them around and it allows me to save time instead of making the window each time I want to use it. And then another thing, you can use it for pipes and a bunch of other stuff. So another thing you can do is if you see this, I have a building here that is made of a ton of static mesh actors. If I click shift click, all the way down at the bottom, you'll see that I have 74 actors. The issue with this is that's 74 draw calls, which this one's not too bad, but then I have ones that are 800 different draw calls. So there's a few things I can do in order to, one, reuse these buildings, but also kind of keep a bit better track of things. So I can right click after clicking all of them and go down to go down to level and then create level instance so if i do to pivot center is mz i want to go to actor pivot actor we'll go with one of the bases and hit okay so then we'll scroll down to our little prefab folder and we'll drop it in there so now i've got a little map inside of my map i got to browse to asset I can actually drag and drop that little map in here. And now I've created a true prefab inside of the engine. So with that, I can do that multiple times, once per each building. Don't go too crazy with that. Only use it f when you need to, as well as keep track of this as you wanna make sure your game runs as good as possible. If it starts causing issues, switch to a different method. So that's one is creating that little instance right there. So now if I, once I've done that, I can double click into it. And now I'm in that little map. I need to go to the new map. Now I'm inside of the map that has that building in there. If I edit this, it'll affect every single instance that this mesh is a part of. So there's another thing we can do. So with everything selected, Go over to the little blueprints drop down and do convert selection to blueprint class. So I'm going to set actor and I'm going to hit select. So now you'll see I have just created an entire blueprint off of just this one building. So those are two completely different ways that you can go about doing these. And I just thought it would be a fun thing to go over and show you all how to do that. I hope you all found this video informative. I hope you all learned something. I really hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I just wanted to thank all of you from the deepest part of my heart. We are at 2,000 subscribers, and I only really returned to doing videos 
about two months ago, maybe not even that just yet. It has been incredible to see the numbers jump from around 400 to 2,100 that fast. That is insane, and I just wanted to thank all of you so much. I'm so glad that these videos have been helpful and have taught you all a lot. I want to look at making a new logo and a couple of other things for the channel. The logo, I want to be a red flying fox. And I want to look at having the channel actually name them over the next few weeks once I actually get the logo redrawn and redesigned. I just wanted to thank you all. I wanted to let you know it really has meant a lot to see the numbers grow as much as they have. I love doing this and I really hope to be able to keep doing it more. I hope you all enjoyed the video and I hope you all have a good night.